I'm pleased to say that our severe weather risk for tonight has come to a close. Tomorrow night, though, a different story as a cold front pushes through. Let's talk about tonight. We did have some reports of hail and even some damaging wind in the Bastrop County area. Here's a look in uh, the Lee County area, Fedor from Debbie. Some hail falling there in Lee County just before sunset tonight. Bastrop County near Cedar Creek, southwest of Bastrop. Rotating storm here from Marcy and also in Bastrop County. Take a look at these storm clouds. A lot of lightning and some hail reports as well. Unfortunately, we're not totally done with seeing severe thunderstorms with tomorrow night's episode likely as well. In addition, there have been a couple of nasty supercells dropping tennis ball sized hail to our north and west. The last of these storms is about 135 miles to our north and west. I don't think it'll make it all the way in here, but we'll have to monitor just in case it tries to clip maybe northern Burnett County in a few hours if it holds together. Otherwise, I think most of the night will be pretty quiet as we await the next weather maker, which is this cold front on the way. It's probably not going to get here till after midnight tomorrow night. So the majority of tomorrow should be somewhat quiet. 68 degrees outside right now made it to a high of 75. I am forecasting rain chances off and on possible through the day, but the heaviest will be after dark. High temperature right around 83 degrees. And worth noting, Unlike today where we were all under a level two risk tomorrow, level one risk for Austin, a level two risk for Wilco, Milam, Burnett and Llano uh, counties farther north toward Waco, though it's a level three. So here's a look at what radar could look like as we head through the rest of the night. Pretty quiet, nothing going on. Sunrise tomorrow, maybe a spotty shower, a little bit of drizzle as we await the change. We should see some sun breaks and that likely could bring one or two storms into the afternoon, but the lion's share of the activity won't happen until the cold front arrives. Well, ahead of that front, we could see those storms around 1 a.m. Thursday morning barreling into the hill country. Cold front coming through big area of potential wind and hail 2:30, 3 o'clock in the morning through the I-35 corridor, and then the front shifting to the east before daybreak, the last of the rain moving out as well, and we should finally see things quiet down. So just know we will yet again have potential of primarily hail being the biggest potential risk. Also high winds can't rule out an isolated tornado. That's a low risk, though. We'll see storms to sunshine by Thursday. Friday starts sunny, ends with more storms into Saturday before we quiet down Sunday through next week. We'll be right back.